first reading, 1 Corinthians chapter 11 verse 17 to 26, 33. Now that I am on the subject of instructions, I cannot congratulate you on the meetings you hold, they do more harm than good, in the first place, I hear that when you all come together in your assembly, there are separate factions among you, and to some extent I believe it, it is no bad thing either, that there should be differing groups among you so that those who are to be trusted among you can be clearly recognized. So, when you meet together, it is not the Lord's Supper that you eat, for when the eating begins, each one of you has his own supper first, and there is one going hungry while another is getting drunk, surely you have homes for doing your eating and drinking in. Or have you such disregard for God's assembly that you can put to shame those who have nothing? What am I to say to you? Congratulate you? On this I cannot congratulate you. For the tradition I received from the Lord, and also handed on to you, is that on the night he was betrayed, the Lord Jesus took some bread, and after he had given thanks, he broke it, and he said, This is my body, which is for you, do this in remembrance of me, and in the same way, with the cup after supper, saying, This cup is the new covenant in my blood. Whenever you drink it, do this as a memorial of me. Whenever you eat this bread, then, and drink this cup, you are proclaiming the Lord's death until he comes. So then, my brothers, when you meet for the meal, wait for each other. Responsorial Psalm, Psalms chapter 40 verse 7 to 8, 8 to 9, 10, 17. Then I said, Here I am, I am coming. In the scroll of the book it is written of me, my delight is to do your will, your law, my God, is deep in my heart. I proclaim the saving justice of Yahweh in the great assembly. See, I will not hold my tongue, as you all know. I have not kept your saving justice locked in the depths of my heart, but have spoken of your constancy in saving help. I have made no secret of your faithful and steadfast love in the great assembly, poor and needy as I am. The Lord has me in mind. You, my helper, my savior, my God, do not delay. Gospel, Luke chapter 7 verse 1 to 10. When he had come to the end of all he wanted the people to hear, he went into Capernaum. A centurion there had a servant, a favorite of his, who was sick and near death. Having heard about Jesus he sent some Jewish elders to him to ask him to come and heal his servant. When they came to Jesus they pleaded earnestly with him saying, He deserves this of you. Because he is well disposed towards our people, he built us our synagogue himself. So Jesus went with them and was not very far from the house when the centurion sent word to him by some friends to say to him, Sir, do not put yourself to any trouble because I am not worthy to have you under my roof, and that is why I did not presume to come to you myself. Let my boy be cured by your giving the word, for I am under authority myself, and have soldiers under me, and I say to one man, Go, and he goes, to another, Come here, and he comes, to my servant, Do this, and he does it, when Jesus heard these words, he was astonished at him, and turning round, said to the crowd following him, I tell you, not even in Israel have I found faith as great as this, and when the messengers got back to the house, they found the servant in perfect health, 